Hello friends, I Priyanka Khan, Assistant Professor in Biani Group of Colleges, welcome you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today I am going to deliver the lecture on Nucleosome Model. What is Nucleosome Model? Before that we will discuss about some uh, experimental evidences. In recent evidences it was found that chromosomes have two NM to 4 NM fibrils and it is also proved that DNA has uh, 2 NM thick strand in itself. So there is no choice but to believe that DNA is uh, present inside the chromosome organization in coiled and super coiled form. In this context various models have been proposed and out of which nucleosome model is universally accepted model and it was proposed by Korenberg and Thomas in 1974. What is nucleosome? The, this diagram shows this is the DNA strand in which uh, DNA and histone proteins are present. In earlier days it was thought that DNA strand and chromosome in chromosomal organization is as string on beads and when this this DNA strand is treated with exonuclease enzyme this is breakdown and it is seen that there are some bead like a structure which is actually a nucleosome and these bead like structures are linked together with some DNA strands these linking DNA these are called linker DNA when it is one, one bead is elaborated, extended, its ultra structure is seen that this, this is a one bead which is repeated unit. You can see in the diagram this structure is repeated one by one and uh, all the structures are interlinked by the linker DNA. This repeated unit is named as nucleosome by P audit. What is inside this uh, structure? Uh, there is a core particle in the center. As we know, in structural organization, DNA along with histone proteins are responsible. Histone proteins are mainly responsible for the structural organization of DNA inside the chromosome. And there are five types of histone pro proteins, out of which H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. These four histone proteins present in double and these all forms the core particle. So there are total 8 molecules of the histone proteins H2A, H2B, H3 and H4 and in which uh, the tetramer of H3 and H4 is associated with the uh, doublet of each of H2A and H2B. You can see in the diagram the DNA strand is coiled around this core particle and the length of DNA which is coiled around the core particle is 140 base pair and this is, this makes 1 and 3 by 4 turns in the uh, surrounding the core particle and the both end of DNA strand outer side and inner side is linked outside the core particle by the fifth histone proteins that is known as H1 protein. So H1 is linked to the nucleosome from the outside and it is linked in uh, weak bond and H, uh, the rest histone proteins uh, make a, a strong bond with the DNA pattern. There are the number of DNA which is bind to the H1 protein is about 60 base pair and it may vary from a species otherwise uh, in a standard there are total 200 base pairs out of which 140 makes the turn around the core particle and rest 60 base pairs uh, binds with the H1 particle outside the core particle. This whole structure is known as the nucleosome and this is the repeating unit and uh, uh, this shows the lowest level of the DNA coiling. In the chromosome, DNA is present in the coil form. Further, if we elaborate this, uh, this whole nucleosome is further super coiled, super coiled and that model is known as the solenoid model. In solenoid model form, DNA is present inside the chromosome. Thank you, thank you and thank you for watching this video. 
For further details, please log on to www.gurukpo.com.